next guest speaker is from Pakistan. We welcome uh, Rafia Muksar. Welcome again. Uh, sorry for uh, keeping you waiting. And good afternoon to everyone. Please, please continue. We can hear you. From Bahawalpur, Pakistan. I am very pleased to be invited to us as a keynote speaker at this forum. I'm sharing my screen. Please wait. Can you see my screen? Yeah, now it is visible. Am I audible? Yeah, we can hear you and see you. Thank you. You can, you can continue. Okay, the topic of my talk today is the investigating the impact of total quality management practices on student satisfaction, a case study. That is a brief sketch of my talk. Dear audience, total quality management is a mixture of four tasks and methodologies inside an institute to attain continuous development of the quality nature of commodities and services. The objective of every business is satisfaction of its customers. Total quality management practices have great impact on the behavior of the customers because these practices have been in many industrial and educational institutes of the world. Initially, the word quality starts with Latin word quals, signifying of the word kind. The idea of quality utilizes as a part of this sense since the beginning of human progress. Actually, for the ancient individuals, the idea of quality was available and they needed to realize which nourishment can be consumed and which cannot be, and which tools would fill their needs. The lifespan of the hunter's survival was the majority of quality control of the devices as they better the practices, the better their chances were to survive. Significance of this study. Quality improvement is a never-ending process. Education quality leads to a prospective future, hence insight on quality indices and virtual implementation need to a given top priority and attention should be made to the category in the wide range of educational strata, university, educational management, and the staff. This research study indicates the total quality management practices in education institutes of Pakistan and its impact on customer satisfaction. This study is helpful to check the TQM practices implementation level in the Pakistani education institute. Research can help us for planning and successful implementation of TQM practices more efficiently. Study also helpful for the education institutions to increase the level of customer satisfaction through good TQM practices. These are the objectives of my study. To find the student satisfaction level and problems of TQM practices in the Islamic University of Bahawalpur. To analyze the impact of TQM practices in education institutes. These are my research questions. What is the level of student satisfaction on TQM practices in the IUB? Is TQM practice impact on the performance of educational institutes? What are difficulties and problems for implementation of TQM practices in education institutes? Quality as an issue said to have the positive credit of conformance to indicate TIC norms. Essentially, quality has been categorized as worth for cash wellness for you. The routine enhancement of item and procedure before production. Eight dimensions to product quality which have uh, were performance, features, reliability, conformance, durability, serviceability, aesthetics, and perceived quality. Same like five dimensions have been stated of the service quality. These dimensions are reliability, responsiveness, assurance, empathy, and tangible. 
quality of product or service design, quality of performance to the design, ease of use, post sales service are important to assure total consumer gratification. 20 students and uh, 200 students and 20 teachers were particip participating in this research. My uh, research was descriptive. Research approach was quantitative and random sampling was done. The researcher found that separate question here for teachers and students were prepared. These were my findings and conclusions. The researcher found that education is considered a part of leadership in the common community. The capabilities of the instructive foundations and education institutions are to produce the individuals rationally physically, socially, mentally, and deeply. It increases the advances to social, financial, social life, and political situation of the nation. There is close link in the middle of education and advancement in Pakistan. After more than five decades, the formative makers are not representing pro uh, progressive results. In education, investment rate is very low in Pakistan compared to other countries. Education sector of Pakistan suffers from insufficient economic support poor quality of supervision, monitoring, administration, and teaching, and low levels of competence for execution of programs. As a result, the literacy rate of Pakistan is very low in the world and the lowest amongst nations of comparative resources with economic and social circumstances. These are some suggestions and recommendations. It is wonderful quote. Quality in education is what makes learning a pleasure and a joy. Some years of student performance may be increased by threats, by competition for uh, grades, or by prizes, but the attachment to learning will be unhealthy. It requires a quality experience to create an independent learner joy in learning is ever changing. What is thrilling at one age is immature at another. Teachers must be ever alert to engage the students in a discussion of what comprises a quality experience. The negotiation and discussions are never done. It takes constant engagement to get a student to learning. These are some references from which I have taken help. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for your presentation. Is there any questions or any contributions from our from our uh, participants? Okay, there seems to be no questions for now. Thank you again. Thanks so much for your contributions. Thank you, thank you, okay, thank you again. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Evet, sırada değerli